All right, kind of a response to uh, some more of Bluck's guy. Um, he's got a bad mic and he talks too damn slow. But other than that, he might be a nice guy. Except he's kind of sarcastic, kind of arrogant for somebody who doesn't really talk very fast. You really should be able to talk fast if you're going to be arrogant. Just because you have to make a lot of arguments and make them quickly. Uh, but anyway, forget that part. Um, okay, he's, 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 he thinks I'm too simplistic, yet he can't imagine... Well, if you if you don't have capitalists, you don't have any more investment. <laughs> it's like the two don't have anything to do with each other. Society can invest in things. Individuals can invest in things. They can say, well, I'm going to invest. I have some surplus that I've created from some labor I did in the past. And instead of going on vacation, I think I will invest the money in something productive. So, I mean, investment is not going to stop because you've eliminated rich people. Um, I mean, the capital's still going to exist, and even if it doesn't exist, if you just burned all the if you just burned all the money with the rich people or not, whatever, uh, you've made all the other money that exists twice as valuable or three times as valuable. Um, so you have plenty of surplus still. You still have the same amount of surplus. You've just changed whose hands it is in. Okay, so instead of having capitalists control the world, the people can control the world. The consumers can control the world, and the workers can control the world. And those are competing interests, um, I will concede. I would never give all power to the workers because, you know, they'll have a one-day work week where they work one hour. <laughs> you know, uh, they'll create too good a contract for themselves. And... Uh, you know, on the other side, you can't give the consumers all the power because, yeah, they'll have people working like slaves because they'll just call them a them, you know, an over there. And they'll just say, it's okay for the, the over theirs, you know, as long as they're not my children, as long as they're somebody else's children, it's okay for them to work 17 hour days. Um, so, but there has to be a balance between those two interests consumers and laborers, workers fuck anybody else there shouldn't really be anybody else except broken people and we can decide to either humanely slide them into the eternal ether or we can decide to take care of them but that should be it you know there really shouldn't be any other kind of people um, people who either want to make a contribution to society or people that can just get the fuck out all right and you know the rich don't make a contribution the capitalists don't make contributions there's nothing their investment strategy is completely focused on them making money. They are not thinking of the social interest. So there's no way their judgment is going to be in the social interest or in the consumer's interest or in the worker's interest, <clears throat> which are the most of the human population, 99% of the, the human population, or let's say the 97%, or even the 95%. I mean, whatever you want to qualify as those who are obscenely wealthy and undeserving of their control. But you don't need individual capitalists with a big, sitting on a big pile of money to have investment. Uh, we as a nation invested in going to the moon, spent a big pile of money. I mean, it's like $10 billion back then, which was probably $300 billion now. Um, and we got there. We did it. Okay. It didn't turn out to didn't turn out all that great because we found out, you know, space is kind of, kind of creepy. I mean, it looks nice in pictures, but it's not the kind of place you want to, you know, you don't want to go there. <laughs> you know, kind of hostile out there. Um, but anyway, it, you know, we can do that. We can build Hoover dams. We can do lots of things as people, not as, as um, monarchs or capitalists or whatever you want to, you know, filthy, rich, disgusting, putrid bastards. Um, and it's just we just we don't need capitalists. Um, what we do need in the economy is incentive for people to be productive. And if you can't find that incentive between, uh, you know, a basic decent human a wage for work and, uh, say, a million dollars as a salary or whatever the top number would be, uh, if you can't do it within that range, if you can't find a way to encourage people to be productive within that range, it's just it's not worth expending then. I mean, it's insane. Um, I think, of course, you can, okay, and you can reward people for making, look, Albert Einstein was not fucking a uh, billionaire. <clears throat> you know, the people who probably made the greatest contributions to civilization weren't billionaires. They weren't owners of the world, um, and you wouldn't want them to be anyway. 
uh, you know, because sometimes you're just lucky, okay? Sometimes it's all about the effort. I mean, ten people can smash on a rock, and one person just happens to hit the rock the right way, and a gold nugget pops out or, or something. But, you know, it was valuable to have all ten people working on the project. And the fact that one guy got lucky is not exactly the way you should decide, well, then all the value should go to that person because it was good to have the other 10 people willing to whap those rocks. So I'm not saying you should take incentive out. I'm not saying you shouldn't, you shouldn't take some good fortune out of the system. You just put it within a rational range. I mean, we've allowed this to get, uh, this is a lottery. This isn't a rational incentive system. It's a lottery. And so it's, it's it, all it does is create a big, huge, gigantic ton of waste and disappointment to make one fucker happy. I mean, it's, it's, it, you know, it literally is insane. I mean, what else can you say? It's insane. All right. We're not, we're not inspiring people to be members of a society. We're not inspiring people to do, to be productive for the sake of being productive because it's a damn good thing to be. Uh, and those are, I, those should be part of the equation. Um, and we should all be able to understand that we we know what we deserve in our hearts. I mean, you can hear it even from the, the, the sometimes the rich will even do that. They'll say, "Oh, I've been very fortunate." You know, they'll 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 admit the truth. Okay, that they had to have a lot of luck to get where they are. Um, so you know, it's this system is idiotic. It's stupid. It hasn't been engineered. All right, because it's almost impossible to engineer it. The only people that can do that are people who can get power. And usually the people who have power, well, we see what they're usually like, okay? They're, they're usually insane. Um, you know, uh, they're maniacal, self-obsessed, crazy asses. I mean, we, we admire gods. We admire, you know, not we, of course. I mean, we as the general idiotic, moronic society. Um, finds value in that idol worship and so we end up with a bunch of idols you know as the controllers as the engineers and they're not going to be able to do the job we actually af actually have to put engineers in the job to expect them to do some engineering um, so anyway uh, it really it, it, it's you know I'm not being simplistic you're being simplistic because you just have to follow the money it's just money all right. It doesn't matter whose hands it's in. It matters on what's it's what the money's doing. Uh -huh. uh, so anyway, enough said. Okay. I guess there's more that can be said. Um, this is, look, the key part of this too is is not only the you know even if there was a meritorious capitalist, somebody who actually did accomplish something, he hit the right rock and he produced the gold nugget. Uh, even if that was even if that was the person who controlled the capital that's not even our system our system says no we're going to let his children control it and his grandchildren and maybe some nephews and some aunts and uncles and other whoever else he thinks is meritorious to control the reins of the economy and the world and decide what will or will not be invested in and these people these people never even banged on a rock these people never did anything to make a contribution and they're going to control what will be invested in by the entire human race now now please explain to me how that's productive how that's in the interest of society or anybody in society i mean even the other rich people it's not in their interest to have crazy loonies who just pop out of a woman uh the right woman the one married to the rich guy uh control the the international economy what sense does that make why would you put people who did nothing of merit in their entire existence to deserve control why would you give them control i mean it's crazy so the you know it just seems common sense you have to put some kind of limits on the transfer of power and the transfer it's bad enough we have presidents running with lunatics as their vice president but at least it's we can publicly scrutinize that insanity um, but the idea of transferring this wealth this control this power into the hands of people who did absolutely nothing to deserve it they've shown no merit they've done no productive act they've done nothing to earn the win in the lottery they didn't even buy a fucking ticket
I mean, it's bad enough to have a lottery system, but if you're going to have it, you should at least obligate the winners to buy a fucking ticket.